Hello, and welcome to part two of version two, attempt number two, if you like, of my Pokemon Scarlet Little Cup lock. Um, we have just skipped through all... Oh, hello, I'm Wonder Woman in an invisible airplane. Woo! Uh, yeah, I was trying to get the background. Um, there, we've do I've done all the school stuff without you having to sit through it. It was like 15 minutes worth of stuff we've seen before. Um, so yeah, it's time to crack on. And I, I'm gonna start with a team recap and then we're gonna talk about the plan. So we have Monch, the level 11 Fuecoco, our starter with Tackle, Lear, Ember and Round. Next we have Perky, Lechonk, level Seven, I was going to say nine then for some reason. I think I saw the special attack start and was going to read that out. With Tackle, Tail Whip, Disarming, and Voice. Next, we have Rosalie, the Diglett, level seven. Scratch, Sand Attack, Growl. And last but not least, we have Jennifer, the Fletchling, with Growl, Peck, and Quick Attack. Now, where are we going to start off going? Well, we already discussed this. Uh, let's skip through this tutorial. We already talked about this. Uh, briefly I believe at the start of the series but I'm gonna be heading for the bug type gym or the grass type gym I'm gonna say bug I'm gonna say bug I'm gonna stick to my guns and go for the bug type gym so let's uh, set that as destination and off we roll yeah, so I picked my starter and caught Fletchling based on the plan to take on the Bug-type gym leader first. Oh, you know what I need? My book. My book of encounters because I feel like this is one of the... Oh, hello. Because it's so open, this is quite a difficult world to keep track of encounters in. Right, so we're not going to be reading out uh, text. Blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, it's quite a difficult game to keep track of what encounters I've had, what encounters I'm allowed to have, etc. So, um, I've got a notebook, which is beneficial, I think, in a Nuzlocke anyway, because then you can keep track of your encounters. Yeah. So. Is that Mareep an encounter? That Mareep's just a casual encounter just sitting there. That's awesome. Picked up a Pokedoll. Nice. Okay, do I want to take on a trainer? Ooh, Starly. As much as I have a Fletchling, a Starly is a good... Oh, bye. Is a good flying type. Where am I officially here? South Province Area 2. So we haven't got an encounter here. So we can catch something. Should we fight this person? I don't know what level they're going to be at. Let's, let's find out. I can't believe I forgot to buy ingredients. Whatever. No other student. I'm supposed to know the Ark Builder. Scatterbug. Oh, this will be good training for our Bug-type gym encounter. I've just realized I should probably switch Monch from the front and start training up Fletchling a little bit more. Jennifer. Level 9. Drifloon. Will I switch? I will, actually, yeah, because Jennifer is normal flying, so Drifloon won't be able to hit with its uh, ghost type moves. But Jennifer will be able to hit with her flying type move. Heck. So a sort of type advantage here. Although not seeming like a damage advantage right now. Okay, focus energy is fine as long as it doesn't pay off. Ah, 
And it already paid off. Um, I am actually going to heal because I really don't want to lose Jennifer. Oh my god, another crit? Okay, crit does 12, so we, so we live another crit here. Oh, we're faster. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, aftermath. Oh, I'm glad I healed. Doesn't tell me how much damage I took from aftermath. New moves all round. Echoed voice for Perky. And Astonish for Rosalie. We love it. Right, so. Oh, wow, that was quite a bit. Um, that was like six extra points of damage. Let's just heal up Jennifer and let's carry on our little route. I don't think I'm going to get my encounter just yet. Wait, did I, I saw an item. That's... That's what I saw. Because there's, there's options. Because there's also things like um, terror Pokemon that can have a different type when the terror flies. So that could be interesting. Hell yeah. Nice. The one thing I have to remember though is the first wild battle I get into is my encounter for this area. So I have to be very careful not to um, not to encounter any wild Pokemon by accident. Which does limit my training possibilities until I've got my encounter to only trainers. I did know. I knew that. Okay, um, so Jennifer can go in lead at the moment. Oh, no. Oh, well, it looks like we're having a Starly. Didn't even see it. Genuinely didn't even see it. Oh, well. Oh, heck. Right, more backup for... For the bug type gym, I guess. Can't complain too much. 25 Pokeballs. Okay. Nice. You know what? It won't hurt to have a third decent Pokemon for the, uh, the bug type gym. Hennifer levels up and learns Ember, so she can learn fire moves, even though she can't get stabbed from them. Okay, because I was wondering that in the last episode. Uh, Starlight, they flock around mountains and fields, chasing after bug Pokemon. Their singing is noisy and annoying. Okay. So let's um, do a quick Google. Flock of... Seagulls. I immediately thought of a flock of seagulls when I read they flock around mountains of field. And then their singing noisy and annoying is just extra humorous. Um, let's find the... Oh, it's a girl, though. The singer is called Mike Score. So, um... We could either have Michaela, Mickey, as in the female version of Mickey, um, Michelle. I thought I want to go with Mickey, you know. There we go. Welcome to the party, Mickey. Welcome to the team. Wasn't intending on necessarily catching you, but, you know, I'm glad you're here all the same. All right. Yes, please.
Okay. So, the team is updated. I did know. Woo! Wow, we've got a bunch of Mavit knocking about. Uh, have we got any more Hoppips? I was going to start training on some Hoppips. There's one. Hello. I'll fight you, grass type. Nice. Fairy wing. Well. Well then. Gosh. Uh oh. We've got a bit of an audience watching here. Because we've kidnapped one of their family. Munch wants to learn the move Bite. Hell yeah. Get rid of round. Um. Yeah, get rid of round. Get rid of round, I reckon. Hello, hop it. I'm gonna battle anything I see that I have a type advantage against. Any easy battles. I don't wanna get caught up in like tough battles, tough grinding. But you know, some easy ones, then hell yeah, sign me up. Got some levels. No, nope, don't wanna fight you. Definitely don't want to fight you, Marie. Fight another hop it though before I pick up that TM. Hello. I should put Starly out front now, actually. The only one of the main three of the team at the moment that's not at level 10 or above. So yeah, we'll switch. Switch for Starly. Go on, Mickey. And Jennifer, for that matter. And Mickey's learned wing attack. Beautiful. would love to see it. There you go. Mickey to the top. Low kick. Nice. Hey, look, a bug. Bosh. Wow, Mickey's so strong. Hey, some other levels up as well. Perky and Rosalie level up. Sit down, Smoliv. Not quite a level. Looks like we're going down here. Nice. Oh no, am I stuck? Oh no! Okay. Alright, let's let's jump this time to not get stuck. Hell yeah. Oh my god, there's uh, bees over there. Doesn't quite one shot the smallest, how rude. I don't think I want to take on a Vespa Queen just yet. Okay, so we've got level 10, 11, and 12 going into the the, the gym type advantage-ness. So I think that's a, that's a good starting point, isn't it? I'm still going to, like train on the way over there. Wait, did it actually do zero? Wasn't I already on 27? Yeah. 
Get a little bit of extra training in. Lovely stuff. 69. Nice. Level 11. Nice. Nice. And Jennifer. Very good. Very good. Right. Let's keep heading this way. Oh. Detour for that Pokeball over there. Revive. How incredibly useless. Hey, Crookatot. I'll fight you. I will happily fight you. Bosh. Ooh, it lives. Struggle bug. Would you look at that? I lived. My Spatuk fell. Oh no, not my Spatuk. Shame I'm using all physical attacks, eh? Okay. Seemingly might have been our last battle before we heal. Yep. Please. Look at that team. What a powerful team. Full of glass cannons. I've got a little bit of thickness. A little bit of thickness. Whee! Alright. Looks like we're in the right place for the bug type gym. Give me that. Um, okay. <laughs> there we go. Let's go in then, shall we? Just crack on immediately with this game. Hey, look who it is. La yes, I am. Yes, indeedy doody. Yeah. Gym challenge, gym test. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, you go do that, and I'm gonna do this. Uh, right, first of all, I'm going for an all-out offense using a Pokemon that's strong against bug types. Weird, me too. Except I'm using three Pokemon. So if you don't end up rolling a Smoliv instead of the Olive Ball. What? Okay, I assume that's some sort of hint for the uh, challenge. Cartondo Gym. Yes, my name is Ibeza. Hello, everyone. My name is Ibeza. Katie. That's quite a normal name, isn't it? That's just like a normal person's name instead of the usual gym leader nonsense you get in these games now. Um, taking part in the olive roll. Okay. An olive shaped ball. I guess we'll go find out what that's all about, shall we? North side of town, right? I guess we'll just head in a northwards direction. If it is over here, hello. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. Hello. Welcome to the olive rolling field. All about stamina, you need to push with all you've got to get a large olive ball rolling and make it all the way to the end. Get the ball over various obstacles, then push it into the goal to play the course. Now that you're all filled in, are you ready to start? Yeah, seems so. Alright. Let's do this then. I still don't quite know what this is. Some sort of obstacle course. Pushing an item, it seems. Okay. Oh, so it's going to roll funny, isn't it? Okay. Okay. This could be fun. P. 
Kia! Kia! Um, okay, so... Seems I can skip out a whole bunch if I can get up and over one of these things. Hadouken! Yeah, like that. So now I want to go... Oh, no. This way. Don't you dare bounce over that wall. Look at this. The sound effects are beautiful, by the way. I'm loving it. I feel like this could be like um, an accompanying mobile game or something, or even a Switch game, where, where like the levels get progressively more and more difficult. So what's this guy's deal? Okay. Just to guide you, I guess. Kind of hoping they're not trainers, because I I would hate to have missed trainers. With that performance, I'm sure we can look forward to a great olive harvest next year. Yeah, I'm sure I've made all the difference there. Good luck in your battle against Katie. Thank you. I'm going to say, wait, we're technically out in the wild here. We can fight all them Pokemon, can't we? I don't want to, though. Whee! Yeah! Okay, so let's take on the gym, shall we? Episode 2 and we're taking on a gym leader. Watch, this is where we lose. <laughs> Thank you. I have no idea. This is the honest answer. I don't know what level she's going to be at. Very well, allow me to show you to the battle court. I have three Pokemon with a type advantage, though. But I am only, like, level 10 to 12. And every gym leader I've encountered so far in my experience on these games has been in the 20s, but I've not been to this gym yet, so I really don't know what to expect. Eat up my cute little Vivalon, that's terrifying. That's a fully evolved Pokemon, my dude. Oh, what a lovely trainer you are. I said I wasn't going to read out all the stuff, but, you know, I haven't seen this dialogue yet, so. What do you mean, question marks? I know you're Katie. Yeah, obviously I know you're Patisserie Soapberry. Okay. That's why I'm not in my shop. <laughs> wow, she seems uh, with it. Right, does being a gym leader not pay enough? You have to also win a bakery, or is it more of a passion thing? Right, come on, let's let's just get this over with. We either lose in episode two, or we get a gym badge in episode two. Either way, pretty good going, right? <laughs> Nimble. That looks small. That looks small. What level is it? Okay, I'm not doing. What what level is it? Fourteen. Holy cow! All right, we're a little bit. Underleveled here. Ow. So we should be able to live another. Unless it's some sort of crazy high roll. Or a crit. Ooh, that was a crazy high roll. We still live though. Nice. Quing attack. Okay, well done. Well done, Mickey. Put in some work. Oh, we got 
four level ups. Uh, Tarantula. I'm going to switch just because I'm only on three HP. Um, I think I'm going to go with Hanifa. Tarantula shouldn't be too tough. I know. I at least know Tarantula. Right, let's go, Jennifer. Another level 14. Okay. We're faster. Oh, we didn't quite do half, though. That was a crit. Oh, my God. I might try Ember here, you know. Try and attack on the special side. Okay. Ow. I think another Ember kills her. Yep. Okay. That was that was a good play, switching to Ember. I like it. Now she's gonna have, is she gonna send out the Vivalon? Because that's terrifying. Teddy Ursa, but it's gonna switch into a bug type, isn't it? It's gonna be a terror bug type te Teddy Ursa. Let's go, Munch. We're in three v three, and we're using all three. All right. I am quite good. How should I roll things out from here? You should definitely terror farm. Terror Star is Terraform. <laughs> Minecraft, level 15. Okay, I don't feel too bad about this. I'm gonna Terror Stalize as well, you know. Yep, thought you might. Oh, we get to see the um, bug type terror thingy. The thing that goes on their head. Oh, it gets like a butterfly antennae. And wings as well, actually. Nice. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do Choir begins to sing. Let's do this. I feel like we've got this. I, I'm just hoping I don't have to lose a Pokemon to, to achieve this. But I feel like we've got it, right? Oh, we dodged the Fury swipes. Love to see it. Ember. Get the burn if you can. Oh, we don't need it. We don't need it. Yeah, I'm feasting my eyes, but I'm about to make sure it's more tasty by cooking this Teddy Ursa. Okay. Oh, God. Five hits kills. Oh, what? Oh, that wasn't Fury Swipes, was it not? Okay. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, clearly. Okay, nice. We get a badge in episode two. Skills, my dude. Skills. I don't really have a plan beyond here. But I think I might go grass next because, you know, my team is strong against grass as well. All of my sweet little Pokemon drop like flies. Wrecked. Get wrecked. Your strength rolls during our battle like a nice bread in the oven. I feel that I may need to work on my own strength as well. Hey, give me that badge. Heaping serve of my deluxe handmade treats. Okay. Hey, a picture with cakes. Gotta love it. You gotta love it. Yes, please. Pounce. Okay. That's an interesting choice. That's not a bug. Oh, it is a bug type move, is it? Also lowers the target speed stat. All right. I didn't know that in those exact words. No, so that's interesting. Once you found a TM, you can that allows you to create more of the same one. Until we meet again, are we going to meet again? It's the gym leader rematches on this game. All right. Go me. Roto, to, 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 to. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Learning some moves. How'd it go? Smashed it. I didn't even read what I said there, but smashed it. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Thank you.
Okay. This is uh, some pretty good going. Let's uh, go heal up, and then we're basically done for today's episode. Um, I might as well start, like, outroing now, really. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, and you're enjoying the series, please do leave a like. We greatly appreciate it. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here as well. I upload loads of Pokemon content, different variations of Nuzlocke, normal playthroughs, occasionally other Pokemon-related content. Definitely drop a sub if you like that. Um, and uh, let me know in the comments how you uh, how you found today's episode, like what you liked, what you didn't like, etc., etc., etc. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I will see you next time.